Yay. What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode, I can't remember, 94, 95. 96. Doesn't six. matter today. We got happy news in the Dude Comedy family. We have added a member. Kobe has the brand new child. Happy and healthy, I hope. We haven't heard much. No, good. All good. Details, details. You're, you're still at the hospital, right? Yeah, we're actually just got the last a hearing test, and uh, right when I got on the call, she walked in and said, "I'm good to go." So I'm just gonna go get the car seat. But you know, first I had to get on the had to get on the podcast for at least a minute. I mean, can't well, just almost make it to a hundred and disrespect the audience like that. Can you uh, give name, um, weight, time of birth, uh, wife so, okay, all that stuff? Yeah, so yesterday or so uh, Saturday night we came in at like eight twenty ish. Had the baby. Was that considered Sunday? Yes, yeah, Sunday at six fifty one a.m. Six pounds and fourteen ounces, which is crazy because a week or two weeks ago they said that she was probably going to be about five pounds seven ounces. So grew a lot in two weeks. Probably Thanksgiving helped. And uh, uh, four, 19 inches long, which I think is that's normal. normal. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, wife, mom is good, baby's good. Uh, been nice that the nurse has changed two of the three diapers, so haven't really had any bad stuff yet. Kyle came and visited. <laughs> Kyle, okay, I asked Kyle. Kyle is gonna is Kyle gonna be the father? Probably. I don't know how Probably. that works, but I don't really see don't anybody even- else. Did you mark her gender, or did you mark it gender <laughs> X? Gender. So it's funny that you said that, because I kind of made a semi-joke about that, since Washington's the first state to do that, if you didn't know, which would be a great topic for you guys to talk about. But uh, yeah, we did not mark her gender X. She's gender girl. Ah, and then uh, let her choose, gonna, man. Or let, let it her choose. choose. Let it choose. Was thinking about doing middle name Jake Paul, so it'd be Aria Jake Paul Bryson, <laughs> but... Uh, that got vetoed. So just Aria Marie. Still uh, cool. There you go. Hell yeah. Congratulations, man. Your life will never be the same again. This is the it's, new life. It is a new adventure. Well, thanks, guys. And thanks for everyone who's already sent me a bunch of messages. I don't know how word travels so fast. Probably social media. Shout out to that. And uh, I'll let you guys... Hopefully this goes just... I'm, I'm actually expecting uh, hopefully Kyler Burns to just take this convo now to a completely weird direction about something else so this podcast can be just even more of our classic who knows what's really going on Colby looked at her vagina right when the kid was popping out uh, no no above, uh, you, above you I was fine I didn't go down I didn't cross saw the sheet, crowning like said Jimmy or saw, how yeah. did she uh, did she get a epidural yeah epidural and then yeah, did you watch a- did you watch the anesthesiologist shove that Four needle in her spawn? No, I was on the other side, but uh, I could tell it was I could tell it was crazy. Did they make you something to say they were not responsible if she moves it all and we jab her with this needle? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Gnarly. Cool. Someone else popped in. Hey, here tell him tell that, that doctor we're trying to get you on the podcast and he can <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, today's show is sponsored by Pampers, pampers pampers.com, for all of your diaper needs for newborn children and uh, young infants. Go to pampers.com slash dude comedy and get 10% off your first month of diapers. It's going to be a a messy first uh, few years here until you get a potty train. Pampers.com slash dude comedy, best diapers for newborn children and Hey, Colby, really quick, if you you do name Kyle the godfather, you have to start a savings account. And you have to put money in there, so if something bad were to happen, he has money to take care of your family. Can it be in Bitcoin? Sure. All right, I'll do it in Bitcoin. That's the rule, yeah. though, because that would be shitty if you made him take all the parental responsibility. Put one Bitcoin aside now. Yeah. Okay. But then I'll it'll get it. to a point where I'm going to just kill you. And take <laughs> to keep the Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. there, there's the segue. That's all I need. Well, hey, yeah. thanks, everybody. Go do your thing, buddy. Congratulations on your new addition to your family. Thank you. Thanks, now we squad. just need to make money to support it. Yeah, that's our next thing. So sponsored uh, Huggies and Pampers, hit yeah. us up. Hey, those are two competing brands. Well, one we of them. We can do them both. Oh, Bidding okay. more. All righty. Okay, peace. Doses. Bye. See ya. Well, welcome to the show, everyone. It's a happy I just day. stopped the side recording. <laughs>
<laughs> We're good, good to go now? Yeah. All right. Just hopefully nothing gets screwed up. I should have just kept it going, but hey, that's a lot. That's an hour long of video. So imagine you were a godparent to like five children of your friend, and then something terrible ha- happened to you, and all of a sudden you inherited five children. How terrible would that be? I mean, you don't have to take response. It's not like a. I don't think it's a like a legal binding contract. It's on the, you it's know? On the, it's on the honor system. It's just like you're the first pick. Like you could be a bust, you know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like nah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I it was the sound, the, the idea sounded cool. Yeah. You know, like cool. I'm the Godfather. And then you're like, when you it actually comes because most of the time people don't even know. They're like, yeah, I'll be the Godfather. Yeah. I'm like, and then they're like, oh, cool, yeah. And then when shit actually goes down, it's like uh, you turn black real quick. You know, you're like, I'm out. Uh, that was a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop for a second. There, I was like, "Is Kyle making a racist joke here?" <laughs> no, that was a, yeah. You know me. That was a joke. Cool. cool. Um, what did you guys do this weekend? Uh, I watched my I watched uh, my Vikings lose, but I also watched them get an easier path to the Super Bowl. Shout out to Carson Wentz for some shit knees that he's got. High fives all around, that gentlemen. Sucks for him, man. That dude was rolling. Yeah, oh yeah, the Vikings lost though. Too same to Seahawks, but uh, yeah, that was good for both of us there, Burns. Team Caliber we're won looking... their first championship. And that. what was that? The tournament we were supposed to play in? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that would have been so funny if we played them and beat them in the championship. <laughs> yeah, okay. they won their first official championship. They are CWL Dallas champions. Well, we're actually the champions. You know, you can't lose if you don't go. That's so true. We are technically still undefeated. Yeah. Very true. Very so, true. do you still have any hand in that, no, or is it no, all no, somebody else? It. Just a fan, just rooting from the outside. Isn't that crazy that you started that? Mm-hmm. And so you don't got n- no skin in the game or nothing? Not, no skin in the game, nope. Did you sell it, or did you just give it away? I'm not really going to talk about financials, but I gave Justin the opportunity. We'll just leave it at that. Oh. I'll be lying, though, uh-huh. if I said I wouldn't. I mean, you watch stuff like that, you get the little knee-jerk reaction to want to get back in something. I mean, just, I don't know. I, I Not necessarily team caliber, but you just watch esports as a whole. I mean, you see people you know that are, like, doing big things with freaking real sports companies. I mean, the Cap, the Cavaliers partner with Nade Shot, the Mavericks partner with Optic Hex. I mean, it's it's getting crazy. Yeah, that's wild. Yep. That's some wild ass shit there, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I actually tuned in for the first time in a long time to a Call of Duty event. I watched the grand finals. It was entertaining, wasn't it? It was it was good. Shout out to Team Caliber. I was I if you guys don't know, I am the former head coach of Team Caliber, placed for, third at Dallas. For one of it. And if if they also don't know, Jimmy used to he started Team Caliber. Yeah. Founded it. It was funny because but, I wanted my first initial thought I wanted to do something different. So I was like, we're going to do a pistol-only akimbo cod clan. And then we decided <laughs> not to do that. Yeah. And then you started the, the team. So who's who's on the team currently? Uh, Any of the, the same guys? The only original guy left is Theory. Oh, so not even Sharp? No, Sharp. Sharp. That was and- funny. So so I was confused. So Sharp still has his like Sharp TK Twitter account. So I'm like, oh, Sharp's going to win an event. Oh, it turns out he's uh, not on the team. Yeah, he was on a different team. Um him and Neslo. Theory's that really nerdy guy, right? Or is that Neslo? No, Neslo or whatever? was the nerdy guy. The original TK uh, was Gunjar, Neslo, Sharp, and Theory. That's right. Yeah. Whatever happened to everyone? What happened They're to still Gunjar? on teams. What? Gunjar, went, he actually, I think he heads up that donut squad that he initially was on back uh-huh. in the day. And then Sharp and Neslo uh, teamed with two other old vets. And they were like pure gaming or something, but they didn't do any good. Well, yeah, that's too yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see Sharp get another one, but I'm glad Theory got one. Pretty cool. Well, cute. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. What was the payout? Uh, I don't even know. Good I think question. it was like 200 grand. Yeah, I think it was 200 grand, something like that. That's it? So 50K <laughs> yeah. a pop, 50K yeah. a person, minus whatever Justin takes in fees. Yeah. So Justin was actually there, like, rooting him on and stuff? Yeah, there was a big uh, – I mean, it was the first time MLG actually tweeted out and said, for the first time they've ever seen it, 
um, TK or Let's Go TK was actually drowning out Let's Go Optic, which has never, oh, shit. never happened oh, anywhere. Oh, shit. Yeah. They're taking over. Yeah. Watch your back, Hex. <laughs> They're coming for so you. So who they pl- they played Optic they beat, in the they championship? They beat Optic to get top two. So they beat Optic to lock in a spot in the, the grand finals, and then Splice and Optic played an Optic loss. So Optic got third, and then Splice came up to play TK. They would have had to beat TK in two, two matches because they were in the loser's bracket. Damn. Yeah, TK didn't lose. They were flawless all weekend. Never lost. Yeah. So speaking of shooting people in the face, yeah. so one of my old buddies – Kind of, I played baseball with him when I was younger and stuff. Uh, yesterday, he got shot in the face and robbed and killed. Oh, wow. In Holy Utah. shit, dude. Just yeah, he, like, he, was it just like a gang type thing or what happened? Uh, So he used to be... So back when we were younger, like we were, we played on the same baseball teams and stuff. We weren't ever like super close, but you know, we'd do like travels for the, the summer and shit playing baseball. And then... Uh, and then I'd see him, you know, we went to different high schools, and I'd see him here and there. And then at, in college, he, we went to the same college, so I ended up, you know, seeing him here and there. And then I knew he was like, he was like, he would deal weed and stuff. And they got, uh, I remember him getting a fight with one of my other buddies over like some like something to do with weed, you know. And then he ended up having a kid, and the mother of the kid uh, wanted to move to Utah. And so he did the right thing and, you know, picked up and went to Utah, you know, just to live in the area. So I'm not sure. I mean, from whatever happened, it sounded pretty like, you know, gang drug related. Like uh, it was in an apartment and the a girl went and knocked on the door. And so he answered it. And when he answered it, two dudes came around the corner, like a 30 year old dude and a 40 something year old dude. And, uh, not sure like how it all went down, but uh, he ended up getting shot in the face, and you know went to the hospital, died in the hospital. Um, but like they did it with like his four year old in the fucking house and shit. Like it's Holy yeah, it's just shit, fucking dude. sad Fuck as that. shit. Was it like you think it was like he owed them money or something, or it was just I, I, I have no I I mean I didn't there was no I don't think it was random. I mean the the car that left was like a uh like a 1980 Mustang with stripes with like gold rims. And I mean, it just, it just, it just kind of like smells of some, like sounds like gang something dr- stuff. drug. Then, uh, like some- he's not, he's not a, ga- he's not a gang type guy. He's more just like, you know, he used to like college and shit. He would, you know, slang weed. So, um, I mean, it definitely sounds like some sort of, you know, drug related, you know, turf type shit, you know? Yeah, because something like that happened to uh, one of my brother's friends from high school, and this was like a random gang initiation. It was like a year ago on Halloween, and he was right, like maybe three blocks from his house, and he was just leaving a Halloween party, just walking down the street, and just a van pulled up, opened its doors, shot him in the chest. Like just randomly? Yeah, it must have been just like a gang initiation thing, and what's sad about that is that they'll probably never catch the person. Yeah, when something's super random like that, yeah. that's, yeah, that's shitty. I got something. You guys know the Keaton kid that went viral, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know all the big people are tweeting at him like, um, what's his name, Captain America and Mark Ruffalo, Hulk, all of them are going to have him come out to the the Avengers thing. And I mean, everybody. Keemstar tweeted wanted to get him a PlayStation. Optic Hex wanted to take him to an event. I mean, just everybody was te- tweeting this guy or the kid. Apparently now... Somebody revealed photos last night that Keaton's family is a racist family, like a proud racist family, like they acknowledge it. Um, And Keaton repeatedly called a kid in school the N-word on several different occasions and that the kids got on Keaton's ass to make him stop. Yeah. Yeah, that type of shit usually comes out. I mean, so so I want to know, is Captain America going to take back his invite? Uh, you would have to, right? What? what why? You got to postpone it. All right, send me a link. Send me a link to this uh, racist family. I want to see this. Well, I, I saw I just, that all I over just social media. Popped this tweet. I got I, I haven't like actually got to the the pictures, but you can probably do a little research and find it pretty quick. Yeah, There's 970, I mean, seventy thousand tweets on Keaton on Twitter right now. Oh, uh, it's a let's see. It's trending big time. Oh no! Isn't that crazy? Wow. I mean, I still but, felt bad for the kid. 
But uh, let's see. The person who re- revealed the photos of Keaton Race's family last night also said that Keaton repeatedly. Oh, I got the photos. Oh. I got the photos. Is he like in the pictures? Keaton's oh. Keaton Jones' mom is next level racist who posted many offensive and non remorseful comments towards black people. So how is she preaching? Okay, so dear, but what butt hurt, to- this is her, Kimberly Jones. Here I'll I'll say this, dear butthurt Americans. If you aren't bleeding, no bones are sticking out, and you can breathe, stop crying for the love. Some folks clearly never picked a switch. And before y'all start talking to me about metaphorical, emotional, financial, whatever, join a group. Some anyway, it's got their whole family with Confederate flags and here. I'll send it. I, th- I mean, I guess this is what they're talking about. That's just crazy, though. So many people were like going to take this dude to the Super Bowl. I want to know if they're all going to back out on it. Dear butt hurt Americans. Jeez. That just got interesting, didn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if he. I mean. It's his family. I, I mean, if I mean, maybe yeah, if he was racist towards somebody in school, like you know, he deserves. I mean, he doesn't deserve whatever. I don't know what happened. Let's just say that. I don't know what happened. Like, are the people like if if it was a side note and then he was like, you know, what if the bullying thing? I don't. I don't fucking know. No, nah, I don't even know what to say. So, <laughs> birds. <laughs> I mean, birds. Burns? He's out. I'm here. Well, oh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, he's a kid. Like, he's getting brainwashed by his racist parents. But yeah, if he called someone the N word in school, he deserved to get whatever happened to so him. So, do you think? Do you think they should? All these celebs should pull back their offers. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, it's just. I mean. Is him saying the N word related to the bullying, or like was he being bullied by somebody and then said he said called them the N word? Like we don't know, right? You know, not saying that's right, but that's definitely like just because his family is like that doesn't mean whatever situation. Like sounds like he wasn't just bullied once, you know? Right. But yeah, who knows? I mean, the I could tell from the video, like, like the mo- something was just funky with the mom like you know say this say that you know i'm just like this is yeah it wasn't like really so this is supposedly didn't... a text message that she says i'm so sorry if you think that mr this is an opportunity for my son i'm poor not rich i think she opened a gofundme for his christmas too and this person says this is an opportunity for you not your son you just use your son's pain as a platform really really sad that your son who will suffer Blah, blah, blah. I'm no longer interested in being involved whatsoever. Shame on you. And she says, what happened to us whites sticking together and helping one another against the predator? And he she just said that? Christ, I mean, that's what this, this what text says. And this guy says, they laugh sound... out, oh, you dumb cunt. I got a viral video for your dumb ass now. And she said, please, can you delete this? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, man, they sound like the most typical. If that's actually her, though, see, that's a thing. Like, do you know that's her? This Joe Schilling guy is the one, he's a Bellator kickboxer, and he's the one that ousted her and gave out these screenshots. Man, they um, sound like, if it's if that's her, they sound like the stereotypical white trash, poor as fuck, racist confederate As soon as family. it went viral, his mom put up a GoFundMe and they got $60,000. Jesus fuck, man. They just scammed the shit out of people. I, wonder, yeah, I just want to yeah. see what all these celebs come back and say. So it's cr- yeah, this is weird. <laughs> I feel bad for this kid because his mom's just gonna fucking exploit the shit out of him. Is this the mom right here though? Yeah, what the fuck? Dana oh White, gosh. Dana White UFC wants to bring him to the UFC headquarters in Vegas. No, look, look at, look at that's the mom's Instagram right there, and the first sentence of her description is "Donate to my PayPal." Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. You got Gal Gadot, Mark Ruffalo, Haley Steinfeld, Jamie Lemieux. Oh, so this one might actually no. Patton this is ga- oh, this is fake. That's why. Catherine Zeta is- Jones. Literally, all these celebs tweeted at him, wanting to do stuff for him. Oh, this might not. Kelly even be Clarkson. Her. It just goes on and on and on. This kid's life just got screwed, didn't it? 
Yeah, fuck it. Ride it. Ride it out. Get the fame, though. How do you think he could spin this to get get the fame? Uh, do the go the cash me outside route. Just start being super ghetto. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. All right. Anyway, thought that was interesting. Yeah. So that thing that you read by that that dude posting saying like, please, can you please delete this? That was fake. Like, well, I don't know. So the dude is verified on Instagram. Then you go. He has her tagged in there yeah. on Instagram. And then you go to that Instagram and it it only started, let's see, it only started a fucking day ago. So it's somebody trying to act like it's them. Right. So basically that dude, it's it's fake because even well, if she fake. is kind of. Those pictures aren't fake. Like the Confederate well, the, flag ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm just saying that message gotcha. that said, like, yeah, yeah. please delete this. Because, like, you go to this one, it says the first. That's why I was like, what the fuck? It just says donate to my PayPal. And then you realize this this Instagram was started yesterday. So it's not. there's no way that it's right. fucking real. But Oh, well. Just thought it was kind, cool. of, kind of crazy. There's all. It's funny. Every fucking thing like this always starts like that. Everybody just, like, explodes with, like, like oh that's so sad so sad and then it always turns into like wait like um remember the ken bone guy everybody's like (laughs) ken bone's a fucking badass (laughs) like (laughs) wait he might be a pedo (laughs) that's how it turns out every fucking time it's just it's so funny like like even with like paul walker like even like people are just like oh my gosh paul walker's dead and then the next day they're like what about the other guy everybody's only talking about paul like it's always it always takes like a day or two for everybody just to start bitching and being yeah it's funny should have been driving fast then dick yeah but oh well that's just locker room talk it's water cooler talk I can't believe they made sixty thousand dollars. That's insane. I'm I'm really surprised it wasn't more. How viral it went yesterday. I want the moms to probably me thinking, "Damn, we we didn't get as much as I thought we would." <laughs> this is. I mean, look what somebody, somebody fucking put on this Instagram. It's just <laughs> not an ounce, not, not a, a ounce give of a sympathy shit in there, huh? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, to be honest, he does kind of look like that. <laughs> not, I'm not trying to be a dick. He, that's the first thing that I thought. I'm like, this. What's the guy's name? Keaton. Keaton. No, the 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 guy from that sh- the Goonies. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> what's his name? I don't know. Is it Goonie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, all right. What else? What else is going on? Oh, uh, what did I do this weekend? Um, I don't fucking know. Sat around. I mean, we got to have our crypto talk. Litecoin about to go to two hundred. Oh, were fuck people off. were people liking that? Litecoin. Let's see. Well, the the no. the founder of Litecoin, Charlie, the dude on Twitter, he's like pushing big time. Like he said, they're about to just throw a ton into marketing and stuff. And ever since he tweeted that, I mean, it's. It's gone for it went from ninety seven dollars like five or six days ago to it's at one hundred ninety four right now. Damn. Yep. I'm just riding. I'm just riding the Bitcoin train. But uh, our Bitcoin podcast seven point five thousand views. Not that crazy. I didn't think so. I didn't pe- think people would be that crazy in a Bitcoin. But um, yeah. That's not horrible. <sighs> oh, no, we can't top the last episode when we were all nutting and stuff. There ain't nothing to talk about. Well, this one's Colby. Colby had a baby, so I mean. Maybe it'll do good. Yeah. Did you look at your wife's vagina on any Absolutely of the children? Absolutely not. Okay. Hey, can you text Colby and see if he has a picture when she's like just at her most vulnerable that we can use for a thumbnail? <laughs> like the like his wife, like when like she's Alita? screaming, pushing, sweating, sweating yeah, and shit. Yeah. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Let's just just get uh, the picture from uh, the screenshot from. Um, the fuck is the one with Seth Rogen where the baby's crowning? We can't put that. That's horrible. Why not? Can... It's scientific Science. stuff. What was it knocked up? Yeah, and she's like crowning in the yeah. 
It's really good art. <laughs> no. You, you saw it? Yeah. Link Burns. <laughs> no. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> That'll get no, views. No, no. Here, I put it in the chat. That'll get views. No, 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 no. That'll no, get no, views. No, Check no. it out. Check it out. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Risky click of the day. Woo! No, thank you. Holy fuck Oh, shit. my God. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> now, hold on. Let's go. Let's just find a real one. Baby crying. No, don't do it. Let's see. You're going to regret let's see how it. Let's see how close that. Uh, let's see. Hey, oh do you want me God. to use a, a knocked up thumbnail though with Rogan and what's her name in it? Uh oh my God! What is? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. Colby had his baby. What do you think? Dun, 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 dun. Where'd he go? And I'll put oh. a smiling picture of Colby Photoshop next to her. Oh yeah, I do that. That's one. cool. All right. Actually, try this one. No, I'm not clicking on it, Kyle. No, it's not. I'm bad. not doing it. It's not. Birds, bad. click on it. And tell me what it is. All right, risky click of the it day. It says I'll baby right. crowning. Oh, it's just. Oh, on a... No, God, you fucking <laughs> asshole! That was the worst click I've ever made. No. Oh my you're god! A, you're, you're a piece of shit, Kyle. That's disgusting. Oh. Uh, that's a good thumbnail, though. Good thumbnail. That's good clickbait. Actually, let's clickbait it. Let's clickbait the shit out of it. Okay, and all seriousness, like, not what Kyle does. You want to use this one? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to look. I'll look. Oh my <laughs> god. Is that a hemorrhoid? <laughs> oh my god. Dude. What, what the, the fuck, fuck was dude? that? What is your fucking problem? That dude? wasn't even a baby. It's fucking Monday and uh, you already ruined my week. That was like a blown out <laughs> butthole. That wasn't even a vagina. Oh, my face hurts. Oh, my face Dude, hurts. So, so let's clickbait the shit out of this title. Okay. Let's act like... Um, let's make it seem like Ooh. she didn't have the baby at home. Like, What do you mean? Like, like Colby's wife gives birth on a roller coaster. Or like, you know. Want me to? You won't, yeah, well, you won't that's believe, what I'm saying. You won't believe where Colby had his baby? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, yes. Oh, my face hurts. That was funny. That was yeah, good. that was good disgusting. Times. Cool. Uh, Burns, you ready to have a cool. kid? A perfect thumbnail for this video. Hold on, guys. No, I'm not quick. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm already nauseous. Yeah, that was... Uh, all right, go ahead and get... Just use this Hold, one. I just read it. Oh, it doesn't say anything. C-section. <laughs> Oh, oh my shit! God, get... dude, that looks like something out of a horror movie. I'm, I'm. Ooh. Oh my god, ah, that's kind of cool. Ooh. So actually, cool story or not cool story at all? Sorry. So, uh, you know how like the baby's first shit will be like that acon whatever like zirconium or laconium. Yeah. It's like the black shit. Yeah. So Colby's daughter. While she was still inside the sack, shit. Oh. So like when her water broke, the water was it was kind of like brown. So they kind of had to like hurry and get it right. out of there so she wasn't like breathing in her own shit water. That's crazy. But she's good now. She has tons of hair, like thick dark hair. It's crazy. She has more hair than Owen and probably me. Uh, that bombing that happened today. Was that a, something real? I don't know. Like yeah. a suicide bomb. Yeah, yeah. Just Katie Hopkins tweeted and said, the award for the world's shittiest suicide pipe bomber goes to this cockwomble. He blew his gonads off and didn't even get to go to paradise. <laughs> he killed himself. Or did he kill himself? He's right here. No, I don't think he died. He just blew his dick off? Oh, God. Yep. And he's getting arrested. What the <laughs> What a With his dumb! F he, he used the wrong recipe or something. So. He blew his godads off. Wow, that's kind of that's some instant karma right there. Was it a was it a cell phone or a bomb? It, I, I mean, don't know. It, what the fuck? What a retard! Well, he tried, man. That's all they care about. Isn't it funny that people need to go about in life trying to like 
Like, how could that be your, like, main life goal is just to, like, fuck up other people, you know? I don't don't get any of that. That's what religion will do to you, huh? I guess. Yeah, brainwash the shit out of you. Luckily, the ones in America are nice. (laughs) I can't get over the pictures. Yeah. Yeah, that one you sent was pretty fucked up, dude. It looked like somebody just blew out their asshole. What was that? A breached baby. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Is that is that like its feet hanging out? I don't know. That baby's fucked, by the way. <laughs> you're not supposed to come out that way. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm done. What's Burns doing? Burns, what the fuck I are you doing? I think he's like looking at all these pictures. <laughs> I, I'm just chilling, man. I'm hanging out. What do you guys want to chat about? I got uh, that Horizon. So I, I finally got a different game from my PS4. I got Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a pretty fucking sick game. Yeah, sick game. Have, have you guys played it? I have. No, I have not. Oh my gosh, it is fucking wild shit. Yeah, it's cinematic. That's that's what I miss about the PS4, even though I have it. Like, all the games are so cinematic compared to anything on Xbox. Yeah. Like, what is what game? Like, maybe like Gears of War, maybe a little bit, but like, like God of War. Um, what's the other like Treasure Hunter guy? Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted. Like, those games are just simply fucking amazing, like, yeah. cinematic-wise. And, Far Cry you know, 5 just... coming out soon. It's going to be that way, too. That one's going to be Far sick. Cry. Anything that's Far Cry, or anything 5, dude, is, yeah. No, these just get better, dude. This one's, they're, it's it's not on an island. This one's set in Colorado, and it's a religious cult that is taking yeah, over that the one, town. Yeah, that that I thought it was like yeah. Wyoming. I thought it was like Wyoming or, or something. Montana. Yeah, something like that. It's out in the boonies. Yeah, that one looks sweet. Yeah. Well, damn skiddly bop, And there's huh? one coming out. They showed a preview at E3. Actually, they just showed another preview. They played the first mission. It's I don't remember what it's called, but you're like this AI guy, and you're a cop, but it literally makes you do everything. You have to choose everything. So he goes into this apartment and every little thing is a choice, which determines what happens. Like, even if there's a fish on the ground, do you pick the fish back up and put it in the bowl? Everything is connected. It was crazy looking. I'll drop you guys a thing. Damn. You can watch it after the show. They should add a Battle Royale version to it in the multiplayer. Far Cry 5? Yeah. Oh, they probably will. You'll probably see most of your big titles come out with Battle Royales now. Are you going to get PUBG for Xbox? Probably. I give it. I've never played it. I think doesn't it, when does it come out tonight or tomorrow? I think it's gonna be fucking awful because it's 30 FPS. Yeah, it probably won't be that good. It won't be. It won't be as fun as Fortnite. No, I've been dominating that game lately. That game's so fun. I haven't played it much. I'm just. I just don't. I just don't dedicate my life to games anymore like I used to. Sucks, man. I need to get rid of these kids. <laughs> You're not gonna see your buddy much anymore either. I know, but uh, I told him I was. I told him yesterday. I'm like, you bring your fucking computer. We need some damn builds up, dude. And he didn't. Actually, he did. But we ain't about that life no more. You, you, We're you moving told on. Him, you told him to work while she was while he was in the room with her. While she was in labor. Jesus. But man. I was kidding. I was kidding though. I he knew I was joking. You guys aren't about that life anymore. No, this Facebook is just so fucking clogged, dude. It's and it's only gonna get worse. What the hell are you doing for money? Oh, we still do it. Oh. I mean, I mean, it's just yeah. I'm just waiting around. We just actually, I guess I maybe I can. T- I think I can talk about what like the deal I just signed. It's actually pretty fucking sick. So like, the, oh, I was telling you guys already that yeah, IGG that company. Thing, yeah. yeah, you were telling us that. Yeah, so they approved. Uh, they approved a test. So basically for people who don't know, so my I have this big Facebook page, get super fucking bored of it. But so people on Facebook, if you have these large Facebook pages, you can get really discounted rates on advertising things. So um, say a no-name shirt company wants to advertise their shirt on Facebook to get sales. It's going to cost them probably like, you know, you know, 50 cents, you know, up to like a dollar, like a dollar fifty, two dollars a click to have somebody click on your fucking thing. And that's going to end up costing a lot if you actually want to sell shirts because a typical um, conversion rate is probably like 1%. So it's going to cost you a lot of money, like a hundred bucks to sell one fucking shirt, you know, if you're lucky um, for a no name company. 
But if you have these large Facebook pages, Facebook knows that you can post to your own audience for free. So they'll like, well, they say, let's give these guys, you know, a really discounted rate um, f- to actually pay us to advertise, right? So one of the largest gaming companies in the world, there it's IGG, like billion dollar Chinese company. They spend like twenty five million dollars a month in advertising. Um, they're doing like a hundred grand tests on my page, and I think we get like twelve percent. <laughs> Awesome, so dude. it's like a pretty good so if we and so the dude i'm working with is the dude that was like the head of marketing for acorns who's like one of the best facebook marketers out there so he just has to do better at marketing than their marketing guy on facebook and after that hopefully they say all right here's a million bucks go fucking blast our shit out there and we just i just <laughs> sit back and sit sick, back and dude. relax it fucking would be. And so then I don't have to, you know, crank out like girl caught giving man blowjob under table at dinner. Like I got, I don't got to do that shit. You're over it. You're over the, the viral. <clears throat> oh, we've been, we've been over it for a long time. It's just like, we're, we're just trying to figure out something that's like, I mean, so there's, there's a couple ways you can go about it. Like either something that's maintains itself or like runs itself or something where you got to, you know, pay somebody to do something you know like pay right. somebody to run the shit while you just sit back because uh I, i'm trying to you know i i want to kind of do other things but it's kind of like handcuffing us because i i want to make fucking writing videos you know but i'm not going to get paid for making writing videos and i have to sit at home and do stuff that gets me paid you know so you can either pay people or you find a sis like a systematic thing that you know you just put on cruise control and that's what me and colby have a different project coming up as well that's all like systematic cruise control you just kind of fucking overview it and it's all um yeah it's all automated and then uh and then like so for this advertising thing i don't got to do i just basically hang out you know i spent the years a girl on the page so then this other dude is going to run the ad so cha-ching and i'm out i'm gonna go fucking ride that's what daddy wants to do that's what daddy's gonna do well shit yeah all right yep you got your now you guys know yep i ride that bitcoin dick though to retirement (laughs) oh my god can we not talk about bitcoin for one fucking episode i gave you guys a whole episode to talk about it i initiated it we talked about it it's done we haven't really talked about it that much this time every time it gets mentioned i want to kill myself why why do you yeah because you you didn't get in on it dude i have 47 bitcoins it's not a big deal you don't have 47 bitcoin all right, I'm trying not to get too deep in the Bitcoin talk, but um, so I was reading this story on Reddit of a dude. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it, well, it's a story about it. It's not about rates or anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's a nice. So he um, he said way back in the day he set up a, like just a mining machine. Like I mean, back in the day, you didn't have to have like the fucking ultimate kick kick ass rig to mine, and so he just set up a little you know bullshit one right. And and this was when Bitcoin was super, super cheap. And he didn't know, but it it kept mining without him really knowing. Really? And so he got he he got into his old hard drive and stuff and was just kinda like, Oh, I'll just see what you know, maybe I had a little something in my wallet. And you know, he was thinking there would be like, if anything, like one Bitcoin, you know, which is still would be awesome. He fucking opened it up and it had fifty five Bitcoin in it. Wow. So that is get that's pretty close to a million dollars. I think it's like you know eight hundred thousand dollars. That's insane. And yeah, and he's just like he said he just like imagine if that you just, he's he's like basically it felt like I won the lottery. Like imagine if you won the lottery, like you would fucking like like your ticket. You know you won the lottery of a million bucks. You would just be like shit in your pants. You would be like really nervous just holding your fucking ticket. And he said like he was like that with his hard drive. It was kind of cool. But yeah, that's I'm awesome, sure there's dude. shitload of stories like that. Yeah, I saw the YouTube one, the kid that was 14 that's a Bitcoin millionaire now. Yeah, that cunt. I actually uh, had a real (laughs) dream that Bitcoin, it was like the day before we were going to record and Bitcoin fell to $2. And uh, I celebrated celebrated it on the podcast. What what is your deal? (laughs) You would celebrate? You know how depressed everybody on the podcast would be but you? Kyle's, Kyle's all his savings. Well, uh, it, was more, it was more. It was more of dad. a. It, it was more of a. I told you so celebration, yeah, and then also sad. 
Yeah, my my father in law just turned fifty k into twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> In your fucking face, you loser! Fucking loser! Yeah, that's horrible, Burns. Uh, yeah, you should be asshole. happy for people's success. I am, I am happy for people's success. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah when you get that three percent return on your four hundred one k, like we're, we're happy, happy for, for you. you. Yeah. Uh, what is this? A financial podcast? We got any? Hey, we got any? Somebody asked about some life advice. Oh, somebody had a really good question. Oh, let me find it. It's on my Instagram. Here we go. This is a good one for you guys. This will get your mind churning. I don't know. I I already know what I would choose, but this is what the guy said. Da, 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 da. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, here. Okay. Question for you to ask on dude comedy. That's us. That's us. Okay, let's see if you guys can understand what he's asking. I understand what he's asking, but if you have to make up your partner's sexual past using 50 inches worth of dick, how would you separate it? For example, your wife or girlfriend could have slept with 50 guys with one-inch dicks or one guy with a 50-inch dick or two guys with a 25-inch dick. How would you divide it? (laughs) I I, I don't understand the question. What do you mean? You... Say it again. Burns, Burns, do you understand? Yeah, I understand the question. So basically, no matter what, your wife is going to get 50 inches worth of dick in her. Okay. Now, you can, you can have – she can fuck 50 dudes with – they all have one-inch dicks, or she could fuck one guy with a 50-inch dick. Well, that's dick. not even All right, I, got, I already got my answer. This is pretty easy. It, there's no really a win-win situation here, so you just got to go with the best-case scenario. So I'm just going to go – One one guy. Uh, av- Average penises of six inches, so that's like eight guys. Oh. Which I don't think is that bad. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I would probably do the one fifty incher because yeah, well, the fifty incher is she's gonna hate it. Yeah, she, she'll love my, you know, four yeah, or five but incher. Now, but now you're throwing a hot dog down the hallway. No, it's not not for one time. It's only one time. Well, yeah, dude, a fifty inch dick isn't going in a woman anyway. So yeah, it's just like the she's not even a light. She's gonna be like, this fucking hurts. Well, this is not even realistic. There's no such thing as a 50-inch cock. You well, that's be, the thing, though. That's the only. Co- that's here. the only. That's the only cock she's gonna know. Is kind of what it's saying. There's no way you do 50 dudes with one-inch cock. That's just creepy. I think mine's the most reasonable answer. And I would just go I'd one. Go one, yeah. I'd go less frequency, one 50-inch cock. And I know she's. It's not like. There's a size, you know, where, you know, if a little bigger than average that girls are going to like, but they don't like when fucking Ron Jeremy's stabbing their guts. It's just for the effect of the video while why Ron Ron Jeremy's fucking all the bitches. It's not the girls probably don't like it. That shit hurts. Right. Am I right? Am I Somebody, or am I way off? Where'd you get this question from? Instagram. <laughs> No, I what the fuck? I'd go for the one. Yeah, I'd say the one. Personally. Yeah. The one big one cuz that's yeah, it's not going to even feel good. Yeah. It'd be like skinny as shit and like pencil. <clears throat> are there any questions in the email? You guys are like down on me. Who's down on? You? I was uh, agreeing man, with you. We don't get a whole lot of questions in the email anymore, probably cuz we don't ask people to email us cuz it's all the same question all the time. How was I down oh. on you? I agreed with you. Well, shit, never mind then. Burns is the one that's like not talking for eight minutes, even when you say, hey, Burns. I'm here, <laughs> yeah. man. I've been talking the whole podcast. No, I don't no know. earlier, me and we were both like, Burns, Burns, I Burns. Know. And you're, what the fuck were you doing? I was jerking off, man. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Remember when I used to secretly jerk off? Yeah, I wish you, I wish you still would. How do you know I haven't? He's been? doing it right now. He, he climaxed when you said the word cock. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. See, told you. Cool. Well, um. Cool. Well, Colby had his kid yep, through this whole shit off. The show. Forty-five is what you guys get. Monday. Mondays have been the last couple of Mondays have been a little funky. It's all. It's all right. It's, well, it's because uh, of guys, birds. thanks. It's thanks really for uh, coming out. Hey, I got all the energy. Anyone want to play Fortnite? Kyle, you want to party up? Uh, dominate some kids right now, or are you just gonna leave me in the dark here? I gotta go pick up fucking children from.
preschool, dude. dude. Let me just let me just uh, call CPS for you, and they can take care of it. All right. Get out hey. Of my Xbox. Hey, don't do it. Wink, wink. Don't. All right. You don't. Wink, wink. Bye, guys. Have a great day. We'll see, see you ya. on Thursday. Peace. Bye.